so I decided to shop the sale and I bought a few things some things that I was just kind of eyeballing and wanted to try I do have some other items that I picked up from the drugstore um, Ulta and I have some other items that were sent to me that I want to talk about um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about the main products that I got from Sephora and I'm gonna start off with the Charlotte Tilbury instant eye palette this is the smoky eyeshadows excuse me smoky eyes are forever palette this is the box and here is the actual palette it looks very similar to the one from last year and here are the shades and I'm sure you all have seen this all over the YT I thought about doing one of those videos where you do multiple looks using one palette if you all are interested in seeing me do that let me know down in the comments uh, because I think that those are so fun to do all right next up I picked up the little quad I shadow palettes by Mario and as you all know they come in little boxes like this all right so the packaging actually looks like this and this palette is party glam which is really pretty I love the blues and the silver this one is smoky glam and these shades are really nice I really like this old rose gold shade and this one is rosy glam and i really like this shade right here so all of these are really cute i'm probably going to use these in a get ready with me testing new makeup or something like that but i'm really excited about trying to use those eyeshadow palettes i also decided to pick up the one size concealer and comes in packaging like this and here it is right here I really like the packaging how this is metallic um, like a metallic red and this is supposed to be full coverage again I'm going to use that in a get ready with me I also decided to pick up Huda Beauty's glow wish multi glow skin tint comes in a box like this and here lately I've been enjoying using skin tints and those are always good to use if you are looking for a more natural type of appearance or a more natural look and it comes in a packaging like this so this is another one that I'm going to be using and I can't wait and I anticipate it's probably going to be like Fenty's skin tint because uh, for that to be a tint it really does have good coverage and a lot of Huda Beauty's uh, facial products are really like heavily pigmented or they provide lots of coverage so um, again even though it's a 10 I'm thinking it's probably going to have some serious coverage so I also have another uh, skin tint this is actually a tinted moisturizer this was sent to me by Tower Beauty and I am really all about you know tinted moisturizers skin tints all types of things now they did send this this over to me but it is uh, too deep as you can see but I know that I can make that work and I really love the packaging and especially the applicator it looks a lot like Dennis Gross's latest sunscreen uh, that they have but this is really nice I have seen some reviews on on um, on this particular product and I can't wait to talk more about it all right so next up I have the Sephora S clean clean velvet cream blush palette comes in a box like this and you all know that I love creams. Creams are really fun and easy to use. This particular packaging does come with a little rubber band to actually seal it. And here are the shades. And I know that those are going to look awesome on my skin tone. I can't wait to try this baby out. And again, like I say, Sephora has really good uh facial products they also make brushes lashes you know just all that kind of good stuff so I know that that's going to work magnificently next up I decided to buy some perfume the Mr. Miss Dior Eau de Perfume comes in a box like this and this is the new one that came out here it is this bottle is so cute so the way that you can tell the difference is the little bow right here but this is a beautiful fragrance I really do I do like it. I have worn it <laughs> uh, because I just absolutely love the fragrance. I also picked up Absolutely Blooming by Mr. Dior. It comes in a box like this. And here is the packaging. So this one has a, a silver, silver bow. 
uh, as you can see and that's the only thing that's really different is the little bows the juice even appears to be the same color I think well maybe not I think the absolute absolutely blooming is a little bit deeper but yeah both of these smell so good and I've always wanted the absolutely blooming like forever so I thought this would be a good time to purchase it since the sale was going on the next thing um, that I have is the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting power it's the light catcher and I have it in cosmic rose comes in packaging like this and here is the outer packaging so here's the deal they do market this as like an all-over powder but the person in the store told me that you're just supposed to put it you know where you normally highlight so that's what I'm going to do I don't know it depends on how it looks and how much I like it but it just kind of seems like it's probably just going to be a glor glorified highlighter but we'll see you know how it looks and I just don't understand why they would market it as an all-over powder I understand it's supposed to catch light and things like that but why did they have it to where you would put it all over your face but either way this is another one that I'm going to use in a get ready with me and we'll be able to see this one up close and in action all right so I also picked up a beauty bakery bronzer I got this one from Ulta it comes in packaging like this and the shade looks like it would work really well with my skin tone I don't have a lot of her products I only have like the concealer and I really do like the concealer so I thought I would try this one out all right so next up I have a cleansing balm uh, for dry skin and this is by slick type I think this is new to Sephora but it comes in a box like this and the way that you open it up you have to peel this part off very similar to their concealer and then you open it up super cute and what I also like about this is that at the top part you get a place to hold your spatula so you won't contaminate your product and then of course you open it up and it looks like that and of course you know I just had to try this one out but I really do like it so far uh, so far it's working really well uh, to quickly dissolve like heavy makeup and I love products like that so yeah but you all will be hearing more about this one all right so next up I have a moisturizer by happy dance and this is the look alive face moisturizer plus 150 mg uh, CBD comes in a box like this and this was sent to me um, by happy dance to talk to y'all about and it comes in a cute little package like this and the cream is like super super thick so I can't wait to try this out and especially put it on under makeup and you know and you all know I'm big on um, talking about how well products play together and I'm talking about and that includes moisturizers that includes cream products powders everything you know so I can't wait to put this baby to the test to see what it actually does all right so I also picked up a setting spray from Target and this uh, it comes in a box like this and here is the packaging and this is the one and done setting spray uh, a lot of the materials is recyclable and it's got hyaluronic acid in it it's got vitamin B um, aloe leaf extract and that's just that's just to name a few and so you do have to shake this one up before you use it and I really do like the packaging of course that doesn't have anything to do with anything but I'm excited to try this one out to see how it works and last up I do have some eyelashes I can never do a haul without doing any eyelashes and these are the new uh, kiss lashes this is by uh, lash this is the lash couture uh, brand and these are the masterpiece lashes and this is avant-garde and this is Avant Porter. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. But these are super cute. Uh, they are pricey. I think these little boogers were $10 a piece. And you all know this is drugstore. Of course, I did get it from Walgreens. But the Wally World didn't have it. So I kind of had no choice in that area. So that's pretty much it. Short and sweet. Those are all the things that I've hauled. Please look out for a get ready with me using these products. And I'll try to have it up 
the next day after you see this one, I think. Um, but anyway, hope you all enjoyed the haul. Let me know down in the comments if you picked up anything, um, if you plan on skipping the sale. So anyway, that concludes the video. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.